Hi, my name is Mitz. I'm so happy to see you here today. I thought it would be fun to take a look back and flip through some of my older journals and so that you can see, I guess, my journaling journey or my journaling evolving from 2014 to up until now. And instead of just talking face to face, I thought it would be fun to share this with you while I discuss today's prompt, which is the word joy. Just a little bit of background. I did do a bit of journaling and keeping a planner when I was in middle school. We received, I think mainly in high school though, we received those coil bound notebooks. And I remember, you know, slabbing on some stickers and cutting out my favorite bands from the magazines and sticking them on the cover and things like that. But I became a bit more serious about journaling and memory keeping when I moved to Tokyo, Japan. I'm currently living here. I'm originally from Canada, but I rediscovered the love for journaling and memory keeping when I found all this beautiful stationery here. And so I, you can see here my first Hobonichi. This is my first ever Hobonichi Techo from 2015. And I'll share with you some of my little doodles and drawings. And you can see how my journaling has changed since then and how it, there are days where I have a whole bunch of empty spots and that in itself, this, the items, the blank pages and simple drawings like this, that in itself says a lot. Um, it reminds me of a time when I had very young kids and they were a handful. This I'm looking through my pages when I participated in the journaling by fives and that was a great way to fill out some of my empty pages and it was a great way to have fun with paint and color and different paper textures. And then there's just some days I would write out a quote and it's interesting to see my brush lettering back then and my brush lettering now. Um, this is another example of my brush lettering when I first started and a simple washi tape border and there are many pages where I just simply roll out some washi tape that I think that are cute and I'll show you a little bit later on there's a page of just simply stickers and this year you can see that a lot of the pages were blank and I spent si some time just drawing some simple fruits on my hobo in my hobonichi techo and I think at that time that's all I had in me uh, for creativity and that's absolutely okay. Then you can see me jumping from hobonichi to the traveler's notebook from 2016. There's bits of packaging that I collaged in and did a lot of layering and adding color with I did a lot of the Tim Holtz distress stains as well. And even things like uh, packaging from pamphlets and Happy Mail. And in this instance, I was very creative or I wanted to take out my sewing machine and I would sew paper directly onto the notebook paper. And I did that for quite a bit here as well. I made my own journal insert and did a lot of sewing of papers and that was very inspiring for me at that time and I had a lot of fun just sewing paper clusters together and then adding them in after and so you'll see me jumping back and forth in different notebooks and in different journals sometimes you'll see me spending more time with my watercolors and drawings and sometimes it's just a simple heading this is more of like a scrapbooky type of uh, element. And here are some fun junk journals as well. I find myself having a lot more freedom in junk journals. I add a lot more ephemera bits from my daily life in junk journals as well. I love to see the different colors and different pictures and papers hanging up from the edges. 
I tend to do a lot of junk journaling uh, for December daily as well and I enjoy that very much with and in a smaller format so it doesn't have to be all the same sized notebook I'm not very particular about that I just gravitate towards what calls me at that time so bringing it back to the prompt of the day which is the word joy I'm curious to know if your journaling brings you joy I know for me it brings me comfort as well at the end of the day and it also helps me relax and wind down it helps me empty my brain full of thoughts and put put it out on paper and uh, helps me process what's going on in there <laughs> I sometimes have a journaling slump and looking at these previous journal entries and seeing how I you know possibly combined certain things and uh, did layering and here you can see them washi tabs that I made just with simple washi tape <laughs> just looking at the simple details like that it kind of ignites a little fire inside of me again and this is my Hobonichi from last year and you can see it definitely a little bit more f full compared to previous years and there's nothing wrong with a simple journal with just writing this one is with um, some doodles thing and uh, pictures but if writing is what you need at the time and it brings you joy then just write away and um, if there are days where you just want to stick down some washi tape or just uh, swatch watercolors which you'll probably see later on that's absolutely okay as well this is your journal and there's no rules saying the correct way of journaling or the wrong way of journaling. I hope you remember to be kind to yourself and do what is best for you at the current time and do what fills your cup at the time. So like you saw earlier, I was just doodling some fruit and that's all I could get and that's <laughs> that's what I did. I wanted to share with you a quote that I actually found while I was filming these videos of my old journals. This quote is by Howard Thurman. He says, don't ask yourself what the world needs. Ask yourself what makes you come alive and go do that. Because what the world needs is people who have come alive. And I just, that just totally resonated with me and I thought it would be a perfect quote to share with you today. I am just flipping through my knitting journal I actually started recently. I got into knitting in the summer of 2022. And lastly, I'm just sharing with you my kids' drawings. And I know at the time it might be a little disappointing to see your kids scribbling away in your planner, but you can see their journaling process as well and it totally warmed my heart this is a page full of just stickers and here is a journal spread based on a set of colors so you can see all the pink and the peach and maybe you can pick a color that you really like and choose colors that you really enjoy and make a spread about that this is a journal spread just with postage stamps from Happy Mail that I've collected. Here is just a page of swatches of markers and watercolor. And here are just some simple watercolor washes and sometimes I added watercolor and squished the pages together. <laughs> and I absolutely love that crinkling sound. So that's it from me today. A big huge thank you to the Get Messy team and I'm so thankful to be participating in the Messy May Challenge. I hope this inspired you. Thank you so much for being here and I hope you are well and staying safe. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye.